So if a tree falls in the woods and there was no one there to hear it, did it actually make a sound? Of course it did. Don't be stupid. Guys, check this place out. That's a beautiful Rubens Glen, fairly close to where I live at. Awesome. Guys, don't ever let anyone make you feel guilty for doing anything that you have to do for your own mental health. That's all about the noggin, keeping this up here fresh and settled and recharged. And you need to take a bit of time to yourself every once in a while to do that. Check this place out. Absolutely stunning. Now for me, this weekend was a, a fairly selfish one. And uh, you don't have to apologise to anyone for doing that every once in a while. You just need to take a bit of time, shut down, do your thing. Uh, anything that just is going to relieve the pressure that you uh, we're all going through. It's, it's tough times. It's, uh, you know, it's 2021 now, guys. Like last year and this year has been a, a real kick in the teeth for a lot of people. And uh, you need to take that reset and recharge and get refocused every once in a while. And just this weekend, I just pretty much shut everything down. Nothing's going to happen. Usually at the weekend I would tend to hang out with a, a friend and we'll go and have dinner or something and uh, that just didn't happen. We were hanging out for a birthday later in the week but a uh, very very selfish one. I was just spent all day yesterday watching DVDs, a few films, recorded a few reviews for the review channel, a couple of podcast episodes. Like I use all that sort of stuff. This here even is a great form of, you know, uh, just handling things. Uh, you know, if I'm feeling uptight about something, I just lift the camera, start recording something, and hopefully these videos will help other people out. My pathway has become obscured. What are we going to do? All right, I should have recorded myself trying to climb over that tree because I almost fell on my face. So yes, guys, it is what it is. You need to do your thing for yourself. And uh, one thing I would recommend is, uh, I know a lot of people aren't happy with this, though I haven't heard about it properly yet, but I have, in the last week or so, taken a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people off my social medias. There's been a a real past with people been on social medias of mine that are really there to just watch and see what's happening and uh, you know no I don't want to say not real friendships but just uh, you know people that carry stories let's just say that let's attempt to get over this tree again Okay, that was a more successful manoeuvre that time. So, uh, yes, there's just a, there's been a history, especially in the, the short film from over the last 10 years where, you know, you, you tend to try and make contact on social media that could hopefully, you know, I scratch their back, they scratch mine, but you know, whenever you get into that form of creation, it's, it tends to be a really cutthroat environment. Do you know what? It's just that anybody that's under it in any way, shape, or form kind of feels like they're already in Hollywood and they kind of feel like they have to be in that uh, Hollywood mindset of. You know, this is a cutthroat business and I'm going to step on anybody that gets in my way so I can get to the top. So, uh, I've taken a lot of people out. Not just for that reason, but um, some past uh, experiences with uh, 
a religious organization I was part of, if you've been on the channel any length of time, you'll know all about that stuff, but you know, it just, that's weird. The world has gotten to be an insanely small place. You know, whenever I, I was a kid growing up, um, of course I've got a pen pal in America, you'll know that on here. And we, literally, we were friends for the better part of 15, 16 plus years before we actually had a conversation, like, not face to face. But just back in the day, it wasn't as easy to get in contact with the far side of the planet, you could say. And, uh, you know, it wasn't impossible, but it was insanely expensive if you're going to make a phone call internationally. So it just didn't happen. But, uh, internet rolls around. We finally get chatting through Skype and that sort of thing. And, uh, yes, eventually I got to... She got to travel here, I got to travel there, it's been, you know, the world has been shrunk really, really down, it's just, anything's possible these days, but, you know, in saying that, the, the smallness of the world and what it is now, it's, it can play havoc with your head, you know, I, uh, there was a friend of mine, I mentioned it in the last video at the end of it, that uh, kind of done something that he shouldn't have done where the pen pal was concerned so you know this was a friend 20 plus years I even took him off social media it's just you know it's it's one of these things you just have to look after again you have to look after your own mental health and uh, no one's really there's very few people at the end of the day that are going to be fully 100% in your corner and social media will really really reveal that to you so uh, a lot of people went off and a uh, tough decision for me to make personally you know once I make a contact with someone I tend to be uh, I don't want to say the better friend but I, I will tend to put more work in than what most people are willing to do in return and uh, again there's just a it's a form of it's like social media can be a form of stress as well you know, just for me I've been a content creator I'm fine and well with putting myself out there recording videos sticking them up online and uh, taking a bit of abuse every once in a while for it but uh, when it starts to come from uh, friends and even family at times you know it's just I don't know I think you need to be more tight with what you're you're letting out into the world at times and that's a bit of a tightrope for me and uh, Hopefully this is making a bit of sense to you guys. I'm not even sure if it's making sense to me at this point. But uh, that is what it is. You need to take time for yourself. Recharge. Do what you need to do. I slept probably in total over the weekend. Although I was fairly productive in the stuff that I was doing. As far as podcasts and videos went on the other channels. I probably got something like 16 hours sleep since uh, last Thursday uh, when I got home from work on Friday evening bed early slept on the next morning got up did a few videos went for an afternoon nap and pretty much did the same today so it's been great just to have a bit of time to myself I'm fairly introverted in real life even though I'm contented making videos and trying to put myself out there at the core very introverted so every once in a while I'll do that shut down get away from things but uh, normally it's just you know closing off my social medias for a few days doing my thing recharging but it has gotten to a point recently where I just had a pull the, the plug 
on a lot of stuff. Like a, a lot of it had to do with the the organised religion organisation. We'll just put it that way. I don't want to say any names because they are uh, a company that would tend to pull you into court for talking badly about them. But whenever, in my experience, if you're part of a church group and you get through a, an instance like myself where you discover you're dependent on painkillers and you're trying to kick them and uh, you get to a point where you can't drive to go there and they turn their back on you it just doesn't doesn't seem very Christ-like to me so we'll just leave it at that but anyway I just wanted to make a quick video this evening just to kind of air my own brain out more or less and hopefully if anyone is in a similar condition to what I'm on going through the same sort of stuff hopefully this video will help you out slightly and if it does please feel free to get into the comments section and let me know and if you're listening to the podcasts do the same and uh written review i would very much appreciate it guys stay safe and i'll talk to you in the next one